This Lent, we're letting God, through his word, give us a heart examination. You remember that the Lord knows the heart. Jeremiah says something to us which is profoundly shocking about the heart. Listen, he says, the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? And with these words, the prophet has put his finger on what the Bible tells us about human nature after the fall. Namely, that it is not only a case that we choose to do wrong things from time to time, as though we're basically good, but we sometimes go wrong. No, the problem is far deeper than that. Uh, there's a basic corruption in the human nature, in the human heart. In the New Testament, it's called the flesh. And here, Jeremiah exposes it. He says our heart, our, our central being, our center person is deceitful above all things. It doesn't have the truth. It doesn't love the truth. It's deceitful. It tricks us. Who can understand it? Who can cure it? And it's pretty serious because he then goes on to say this. Listen, and I, the Lord, search the heart. I examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct, according to what his deeds deserve. So the Lord does look into the heart. He knows the heart in a way we don't even know the heart. And that's not good news because he rewards us according to our deeds, according to our thoughts. Well, it's not good news. And yet, in a way, it is good news. Isn't it good there's someone who knows us so well? And the person who knows us so well is not content to leave us as we are but is determined to do something about this 